Hello, good morning. Um, let's see, I was gonna say something besides my loves, but I'm not really sure what that is. Um, good morning, my party people. I should just stick with my loves, probably. All right, well, hello. I'm sorry that I'm late. I uploaded a story telling you why I was late, but I don't think that it uploaded until I got home anyway. So the story is, um, Teachers were allowed to visit Wickham today, um, and, hey Natalia, and, um, I, you had to sign up for a slot, so my slot was at 9.20, so I ran into the building at 9.19, hey Ash, and, um, I grabbed my Seed Folks book, which I'm really excited about, and my computer and my charger, which I had forgotten, and a book of poetry, which I may, April is National Poetry Month, so maybe I'll throw a few poems your way. Hi, Grace. Um, and then by the time I got out of there, it was 9.30, so I was like, well, I can sit in the parking lot at Wickham and read, or I can come home and read, so I figured I would come home. Um, and let's see, Ash, what happens if I do this? I can allow you to... Oh, not right now. Maybe later. Okay, so here's the book seed, folks. Um, it's about, by Paul Fleischman, and I'm going to read to you the first chapter today. Something that's important to know about Seed Folks is that each of the chapters is, um, a, it's told by a different character. Um, so the first chapter is told by the character Kim, and um, the characters never show up, they never get to talk again after their chapter. So the next chapter is by the character Anna. Um, and then we have Wendell, um, and so it's a little bit strange, but it's one story that is told by, um, 13 or 12 different characters. I don't remember off the top of my head, but, um, yeah, so we will read Kim today, and then in the following days, I will read, um, each of the other ones to you and it puts together one cool story that I think is really interesting and I really love it it's a great spring story um and um yeah it's about it's about a community garden and it's a good time to be gardening so we may do some little gardening mini projects too on here we'll see it's gonna be great so the first chapter is called Kim as you can see again in Seed Folks. And so each character has a little portrait in the beginning of their chapter, and they each have a little like <laughs> vegetable or like gardening implement picture as well. Um, so Kim's, I don't know if you can see this, hers is like a pea pod. And I will tell you why. All right, off we go. I don't know if you guys can like send comments or anything, but if you have questions while we're reading, you can um, do that. I have all of these little buttons down here and I don't know what they do, but you know what? We're learning together. I have always secretly wanted to be an Instagram influencer. So this is like my time to shine. Not like a lot, but maybe if I couldn't be a teacher, you know, I just feel like something I would be good at. Anyhow, y'all are helping me live my dream. So thank you. Okay. So here goes Kim. <laughs> all right, Kim, I stood before our family altar. It was dawn. No one else in the apartment was awake. I stared at my father's photograph, his thin face stern, lips latched tight, his eyes peering permanently to the right. I was nine years old and still hoped that perhaps his eyes might move, might notice me. The candles and the incense sticks lit the day before to mark his death anniversary had burned out. The rice and meat offered him were gone, after the evening feast, past midnight, I'd been wakened by my mother's crying. My oldest sister had joined in. My own tears had then come as well, but for a different reason. I turned from the altar, tiptoed to the kitchen, and quietly drew a spoon from a drawer. I filled my lunch thermos with water and reached into our, our jar of dried lima beans. Then I walked outside to the street. The sidewalk was completely empty. It was Sunday, early in April. Now, something you have to know about this book is that it takes place in Cleveland, Ohio. I hope that's right. Um, yes, okay, it is right. 
Um, and a lot of the weather that they have in early spring is really similar to the weather that we have. And so it's kind of fun to watch Paul Fleischman describe what the weather is like because it's like, oh my gosh, I totally recognize that type of weather. So this actually is going to be the, um, the first moment where we sort of see that. So he writes, Paul Fleischman writes, it was Sunday early in April. An icy wind teetered trash cans and turned my cheeks to marble. In Vietnam, we had no weather like that. Here in Cleveland, people call it spring. So we have those like really icy winds, right? That turn your cheek, he says, turns your cheeks to marble. Your cheeks don't really turn into stone, but like they feel so cold, like that cold, cold, like feeling of stone. I walked half a block, then crossed the street and reached the vacant lot. So a vacant lot is like a place where a building might have used to be, um, and now it's just empty. Sometimes they're fenced in, sometimes they have like dirt and gravel. Um, I can think of a couple in Marlboro. There's one like, is that, I don't know. I, I don't know Marlboro that well, but there are some vacant lots in Marlboro and they tend to be like dirt and like some weird like weedy plants and stuff just growing there because they're abandoned, they're vacant, they're empty. I stood tall and scouted. No one was sleeping on the old couch in the middle. I had never entered the lot before or wanted to. I did so now, picking my way between tires and trash bags. I nearly stepped on two rats gnawing and froze, gnawing, like gnawing on something, right? Like chewing on it. Then I told myself that I must show my bravery. I continued farther and chose a spot far from the sidewalk and hidden from view by a rusty refrigerator. I had to keep my project safe. So she's in this vacant lot and the vacant lot in this situation has a lot of trash in it. We have a couch, we have tires, trash bags. What else? Rusty refrigerator. Um, so people have been using it as a dumping ground. I took out my spoon and began to dig. The snow had melted, but the ground was hard. After much work, I finished one hole, then a second, then a third. What is she doing here? I thought about how my mother and sisters remembered my father, how they knew his face from every angle and held in their fingers the feel of his hands. I had no such memories to cry over. I'd been born eight months after he died, so she's never met her father. Worse, he had no memories of me. When his spirit hovered over our altar, did it even know who I was? I dug six holes. All his life in Vietnam, my father had been a farmer. Here, our apartment house had no yard. But in that vacant lot, he would see me. He would watch my beans break ground and spread, and he would notice with pleasure their pods growing plump. He would see my patience and my hard work. I would show him that I could raise plants, as he had. I would show him that I was his daughter. My class had sprouted lima beans in paper cups the year before. I now placed a bean in each of the holes. I covered them up, pressing the soil down firmly with my fingertips. I opened my thermos and watered them all, and I vowed to myself that those beans would thrive. Um, so, that's the end of the chapter. The next chapter is Anna. Reminder, here's a picture of Kim. So, if we were in class, I would ask you a lot of questions like, why did Anna do this? Or, sorry, why did Kim do this? Why did she get those dried lima beans? Why did she take them to the vacant lot? Why did she use a spoon to dig holes in this packed dirt and put lima beans inside and then water them, right? Like, why is she doing this? I can't ask you that because you can't answer me because we're not in class. <laughs> but that's what I want you to think about is what's her motivation here. So I'm going to give you a second. I'll tell you the answer. So why is she, who is she talking about in this chapter? That's her inspiration for this. If you don't remember, the text is on classroom. Um, so next time tomorrow when we read, feel free to pop open the text as I'm reading because it will help you follow along. Um, so she starts the chapter by talking about her father who has died and she says that he was a farmer. And so she thinks that planting these lima beans will get his attention from up in heaven where he is because he's passed away, right? All right, and so 
we're gonna find out what happens. So now that's the end of Kim's chapter. We don't really see her again. So the question is, what's gonna happen next? I'm gonna give you a hint. I actually might read the next two chapters together because um, they kind of happen together and it gets, it gets a little amusing. Um, the next two chapters are good. So off we go on our seed folks journey, starting our community garden. How's it gonna go down? If you're interested um, in exploring more about Cleveland, I can post a, um, I have like a Google Maps exploration of Cleveland because it's always interesting to know um, what um, the place is like, like what the setting is like um, for a place. So let me know if you'd be interested in me um, putting that assignment up on Classroom for you. And she used a spoon because it is all she had. That is correct, Ash. And Ash is showing me that <laughs> You all can tune in um, and you can give me answers. So maybe, yes, we can comment. Good to know, good to know. Thanks, friends. Um, do you guys have any questions for me since you can type right in the box that says comment, Miss Albino? Cool. Um, do you have any questions for me about like um, seed folks, what my expectations are for you, what things you need, what you should be focusing on, what you should be doing? Um, anything in terms of school, any questions in terms of school that I can answer for you, my loves? I'm gonna give you a second or two while I sip my tea. Any questions? Let me know um, here or you can message me um, separately. Um, why did she plant lima beans? That's a great question. Why did she plant lima beans? Sarah, is your hydro flask at school? I think there has been or there will be an email about, no, there was an email yesterday about setting up a time. There will be a time, I believe, for people to go back into um, the school um, to get things that you have left behind. So like, if you need a Chromebook charger or if you left something in your locker or whatnot, Okay, y'all are asking really good questions. I will get to them. <laughs> um, then there should be a time set up for you to go into school and grab that thing and then leave. Um, I will keep you updated on that. Let me just write that down because that's a good question. I can keep you updated um, on here, I guess, with information for stuff like that. So updates on IG. And question for you guys, is it easier if I post updates on Instagram or classroom. I guess I would probably do both anyway, but just tell me if it's easier for you if I post them on Instagram or classroom. Um, okay, both. So Betsy, your question is, if you haven't gotten things finished for term two, what should we do? So I do not know yet. I've received a few emails about if grades are due and if they're not due, and we don't really have an answer yet. Um, <laughs> so at this point it's Wednesday and they haven't told us that grades are due Friday. So I'm suspecting that they're not gonna be due Friday. So I don't know when grades are going to be due. Um, Bets, why don't you shoot me an email with more details about specifically what you're talking about. Um, but I will also keep you all updated on term two grades. When I know what the deal is, I will tell you what the deal is since the state is still figuring stuff out. Um, we don't necessarily have all the answers as teachers either, um, but I will let you know what I know when I know it. When are we going to finish talk? Actually, Ash, I was, um, thinking about posting a question on classroom, it would be fine with me if we wanted to finish it virtually um, or if we wanna wait till we get back to school and I'll let you all vote on that and we'll sort of see where we go from there. I just wanna make sure that every single person in the enrichment class has access to um, classroom for that because I don't wanna finish it with almost all of you and not every like two other people because that would be awful. Um, so that's what I'm thinking about that. Um, and there was another question. Oh, well, I never answered Natalia's question about lima beans. Natalia, I think she uses the lima beans because, um, I think that's all she has. I think they have, like it says, they have like a jar of dried lima beans that I think they use for cooking, but you can also like get those wet and then, um, plant them. So I think 
it's just like what she has which is goes to Ash, Ash's point also of like she uses a spoon to dig the holes because that's what she had um, to dig with so Grace awesome love the flexibility Betsy engineering that's a good question um I can see if I can get in touch with Mr. Gay for you okay anything else my loves I'm not sure how long you need for wait time to type on here. So, um, I am going to wrap this up, I believe. Um, and I'm going to go post it on YouTube for those of us who weren't able to tune in. Um, a reminder to everyone, this like seed folks is not required in any way. Um, so it's just for like learning and growing and doing something fun together and hanging out and all that good stuff so no stress no sweat um but it was lovely to hang out with you makes me feel like I'm doing something with my life while I'm sitting here in my kitchen <laughs> just hanging out waiting for school to start again um so yeah definitely let me know any questions you have um I will try to get answers for those three thing or two things I guess um and I will get back to you um yeah, that's all I have for right now. Let me know if you need anything else. And I will see you tomorrow, actually at 9.30, for Anna. And I'll have to decide if I'm going to also read Wendell at that point. I love you. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. And distance yourself from your peers, my loves. Um, we'll be back before we know it. See ya! Oh, wait, now I have to hit end twice. I got this. Bye, friends. <laughs>